Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, let's talk about a significant female prize fight tonight. It's going to go down in New York City. Amanda Serrano challenges Katie Teller for the undisputed female lightweight title. Very uh, <clears throat> interesting fight to bet on. Practically 50-50. Um... There's, there's a lot into this fight when you do the research and you can see the Ozmakers are maybe playing the game here, making Katie Taylor a slight underdog to Samantha Serrano, or maybe Amanda Serrano deserves to be favored because of her aggressive style, her punching power, and uh, she's looked maybe better in her past recent fights. Maybe you have to agree with that. But... Um, you know, you dig deeper, you, you research, and then you do the studying, and <clears throat> you may come away with a different opinion when you first initially thought when this fight was first made. When this fight was first made, I was leaning towards Serrano. You know, I've seen both of them fight. I feel she's a more stronger fighter. But, um, you know, you have to look at the opponent she's fought. You have to dig deeper in, in, in uh, the experience she has at lightweight. You have to see how many fights she's had there. Has she has she faced a fighter like Katie Taylor before? Has she's how many times has she fought in that division? Has she knocked out any top girls? How is her punching power? And that's what <clears throat> the research you find out when uh, when you dig deeper in Serrano's record. Serrano has a good record, nice knockouts on her record, but. You know, she's competed in a lot of different divisions. I think a seven, eight division champion, I believe. So, but the majority of her work was at lighter weight classes. So I would say she's a better featherweight. She's really a featherweight fighting in a weight class. She doesn't have much experience in, but she does have success in. She's been champion at the weight before. I don't believe she's fought a girl as good as Katie Taylor in that division, in the not much experience she has at that weight class. She's also beaten, beaten in that division. So she's been beaten in this division before. So even though Serrano may be the more stronger fighter and maybe the bigger puncher in terms of physicality and the way she fights, she's an aggressive southpaw. She goes in there and throws hands on you. She's one of the more exciting female fighters to watch in the game. <clears throat> the question is, can she do that to uh, Katie, who is an underrated boxer? She is uh, undefeated, not considered a big puncher, but she can. She's got some skills. So it's a very intriguing style clash of styles. You got the aggressive puncher. You got a good, skillful counter puncher boxer going up against each other for the rights to the lightweight throne in their legacy fight. One of the biggest female fights ever. Going into this fight, I leaned towards Serrano, but then I realized after doing the research, she's really a featherweight fighting in a lightweight division. She hasn't really shown great power in this division. She did stop a lightweight champion back then, but she also was defeated by a lightweight champion in the same division. So she hasn't fought a girl, a lightweight as good as Katie, in my opinion. She's really the naturally smaller girl here, even though it may, it may appear that she's the puncher in this division. Katie is the naturally bigger girl. Katie has a style that I don't feel Serrano has seen before, but Serrano brings attributes that maybe Katie hasn't seen before. But she is the naturally smaller girl. I expect this fight to go to distance because of the size difference. Katie has been a fast track. She has, if you look at her resume, even though it's less fights, She's been matched tougher. I mean, it's 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 very consistent. Every fight's uh, it's a constant tough opponent, tough opponent, tough opponent, a top opponent. Even fighting girls who are bigger. And the girls that she's beaten have gone on to have success in higher weight classes. So she's beating naturally bigger girls. And she has a questionable win in one of her wins against Pursoon. Personally felt she lost the fight, but she turned it around in the rematch. Showed her skills and outboxed her the second time around. 
So I feel Katie boxing skills will prevail in this fight. I think she'll offset of some of some of Serrano's aggressiveness. Serrano is aggressive. She throws a lot of punches, but she's there to be countered. I expect her to be picked off at times. Maybe uh, get beaten to the punch. I feel Katie's maybe a little quicker on the trigger. She has better footwork. I think overall she's the more com complete fighter, but Serrano is a very, very good aggressive fighter <clears throat> and puncher for for a, for a girl so it's going to be a very interesting fight will there be the will the size difference be significant will the experience that katie has at lightweight be a difference will the resumes be the difference even though serrano has more fights she's had a lot of tune-up fights in between and um a lot of her knockouts were against uh, lower level girls. So there, you have to question, the, does she have the, the type of the same type of power she'd shown at the lighter divisions compared to the lightweight division against a top fighter in that division who was undefeated, but not coming off the strongest performances. But maybe this is the type of fight that she needs to get up for. So it's a good fight to bet on. The draws a value bet, viable bet, worth a chance, surrounded by decision, Katie by decision, or just play it safe on both sides. Or this is, It's a bet you can definitely hedge. But I got Katie Taylor uh, defending successfully, her defending her titles and defeating Amanda Serrano by decision. It'll be an interesting fight. Serrano is going to bring the aggression. In the type of firepower that Katie may may have may might not have seen before, and Serrano is going to be dealing with a a very skillful boxer that I don't believe she's seen before. So very intriguing fight, 50-50 all around though. But if I got to put money on it, I have to go with Katie, being that even though she's away from home, it's going to be a packed house for Katie. A lot of support for her. A lot of uh, cheering, especially when she lands punches, could sway the judges. The judges will be very significant for this fight. So it's a risky play, but if I had a bet, Katie by decision. Let me know what y'all think, who you got. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.